What's up, Roto Baller? This is Roto Brady, Brady Grove here, bringing you three widely available starting pitcher streaming options for this week. Now, first up, taking the mound tomorrow for the Arizona Diamondbacks in San Francisco against the Giants and Chris Stratton will be resurgent veteran Clay Buckles. Now, while this matchup is on the road, Buckles has already made two of his three appearances this year on the road, and the San Francisco Giants offense is only 17th in Major League Baseball in terms of run scoring. Add that to the fact that AT&T is notorious for suppressing home run firepower, and the fact that this isn't a matchup at home shouldn't be a deterrent. Buckles is owned in approximately 20% of fantasy baseball leagues, which looks pretty good considering that over his last three starts, his only three starts of the year, he's produced a 1.50 ERA while averaging six innings per start and only allowing two walks over that stretch of time. And while his K rate hasn't been that high this year, he did put up nine strikeouts and seven innings pitched in his last start against the Marlins on June 1st. Next up is James Shields, who's owned in about 6% of fantasy baseball leagues. He'll be taking on the Minnesota Twins in target field on Thursday afternoon. Now, the Minnesota Twins have the 23rd best run scoring offense in Major League Baseball, and Target Field is 23rd worst in Major League Baseball in terms of allowing home runs as a park. So while this is a road matchup and James Shields does pitch better at home than on the road, this is a favorable road matchup at that. Now, James Shields has struggled to look like himself the past few seasons. His added value is always his ability to be durable and go late into games and stretch his value. And After a rough start to 2018, he's finally started to be able to do that again, averaging seven innings pitched per contest over his last four starts with a 2.86 ERA over that time period. And while his strikeout rate has been about career norm, about 6K per nine for him, uh, he did have two appearances over the last four with a game of six strikeouts and a game of eight strikeouts. So you're not losing some of that typical middle of the range strikeout value that you usually would get with him. And the fact that he's available in 94% of fantasy baseball leagues in this favorable road matchup is a good tidying for James Shields on Thursday afternoon. Last but not least, Mike Leake will be taking on one of baseball's worst run-scoring offenses in the Tampa Bay Rays in one of the lesser allowing home run parks in the league, Tropicana Field, on Thursday night. Now, Leak got shelled through the month of April and early May this season, and this is likely due to the fact that he's been allowing a way higher fly ball percentage as opposed to his ground ball heavy tendencies this year. This is probably due to the fact that he's been throwing his curveball and changeup at a higher rate than he usually does, and those two pitches were not typically a highly utilized part of his repertoire. However, over the last three starts that Leak's made, he's gone far into games and has had a 1.66 ERA, but more impressive than that is the fact that over the last 27 innings pitched for Mike Leake, he hasn't allowed a single walk. So add that to the fact that he's available in 83% of fantasy baseball leagues, and Mike Leake looks like a really good matchup against the Tampa Bay Rays in Tampa Bay on Thursday night. That's it for this week, but thanks for listening, and make sure to go to rotoballer.com for all other fantasy sports advice, and make sure to go to Twitter and follow me at TheBradyGrove. Thanks and have a great week, Tim.